So I would like to start with introducing our first candidate here. We have three presentations today. And the first one is Ahmad Alamadi from South Dakota University here in the USA. The title of his talk is Applications of Fungal Mycelium, Co-Cultures of Fungal Mycelium During Solid State Fermentation of Canola Meal for Potential Feed Application. I'm very excited to hear this talk because uh, canola meal is a vastly underutilized substance and there's a lot of it. Uh, Ahmad is still is currently pursuing a PhD and he is focused strongly on canola meal extraction. Ahmad, would you like to start? Good morning, everyone. First, I would like to thank all of you for attending my presentation, which is uh, under the, the title application of co-culture of fungal mycelium during solid state fermentation of canola meal for potential feed application. Canola is, is an important oil seed crop, which is frank secundla to soya bean. When, when, canola, when canola seed is a process, uh, process for oil extraction, two fractions are generated. We have uh, uh, oil fraction and meal fraction. And this, it is estimated that the, for each one kilogram of oil produced, a two kilogram of meal generated. And oil has a different industrial applications such as uh, human food and biodiesel while meal is used in animal diet. If you look at the, the, if you look at the canola meal uh, benefits, even though the meal is rich in a protein with well-balanced amino acids, its inclusion in animal diet is limited due to the presence of anti-nutrition factors such as a glucosinolate, phytic acid, high fiber, and oligosaccharide beside low protein digestibility. So the bioprocessing goal is to enhance the nutritional and the commercial value of canola meal by increasing the desirable components such as protein and decreasing the undesirable components such as uh, anti-nutritional factors. If you look at the basable solution, several attempts have been done to improve the canola meal, such as milk pretreatment, uh, microbial fermentation, pretreatment followed by microbial fermentation. All these processes showed the potential in uh, decreasing the anti-nutritional factor, but fibers is still a challenge. The drawback of using tail and dehonic process is the high energy input requirement beside the loss of protein in the whole fraction. Thus, our project is to exploit the synergistic relationship among the three different fungal strains, aerobasic impolonance, neospore press, and trichoderma ricei in co-culture incubation and the solid state fermentation to improve the canola meal composition. In our material methodology, we, we, we started with a canola meal of 50% of canola meal on dry basis. The meal was uh, autoclaved and then inoculated with the mono and co-culture of three different fungal strain, aerobazid and bolognese, neospore cross and trichoderma ricei, beside an inoculated control. All the flasks were statistically incubated at 30 Celsius for 168 hours. And at the end of fermentation, all the sample were dried, grind, and analyzed for anti nutrition factor and corroded protein. Here in our obtained result, before I start talking about my result, let me tell you what, what, what the abbreviations are. If you look at the first row, we have TSR, which is a total solid recovery, CB, crude protein, TC, total carbohydrate, CF, crude fiber. ADF, acid digen fiber, NDF, neutral digen fiber, GLC, glucosinolate, PA, phytic acid. If you looked at the first column on the left, we have HECM, which is hexane extracted canola meal. And at the bottom, we have AP, which is apollonans, NC, encrasa, TR, trichoderma ricei. So in our results for the monoculture, encrasa showed the least total solid recovery and it was the best in increasing the protein content and reducing the, the crude fiber, acid digen fiber, and neutrogen fiber. Whereas the abolonance was, was the best in reducing the total carbohydrate and the glucosinolate, but TRCI was the best in reducing the, the phytic acid compared to the other fungi. In the co-culture co fermentation, the combination of abolonance 
and incras showed the least total solid recovery and they were the best in increasing the protein uh, reducing the total carbohydrate reducing the crude fiber reducing the acid digen fiber and neutrogen fiber whereas ebulanans with tri ci were able to to reduce the glucosinolate and phytic acid so in summary all the strain individually and co culture increase the protein compared to, to the raw meal. The, the combination of Ebolanus and Incrasa were the most effective in reducing the fiber content. And the core culture of Ebolanus with TRCI were the most effective in reducing the glucosinolate. So in conclusion, the core culture and fer fermentation improved the canola meal composition, but that improvement is different based on the fungal combination. So the selection of microbe or the fungi need to be based on the, the, the goal of the final product. And finally, the, the, this improvement in canola, in canola meal could help in solubilize the protein and increase the, the protein extractability, which is considered a big problem in, in the protein extractability that we are currently uh, studying. That leads me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention, and I would be pleased to, to take your question. Thank you, Ahmad. That was very interesting. So now we have a question in the chat, and we have our uh, judges here. Judges, do you have a question to start with? Yes. Ah, <laughs> Professor Ferrari, oh. yes? Thank you, um, Ahmad. It was a very nice presentation. Congratulations for your work, very interesting. But I have a question because you tried the strains isolated uh, and two by two, and also all the three together. But in almost, I think for all the parameters you followed, when you used the three strains together, the results were worth than using only um, by culture. Um, can you have an explanation for this or, or not yet? <laughs> uh, yeah, that is a very good question. It's based on because when, when I use two, two, uh, two microbes together, sometimes the, the product of one or these two microbes could inhibit the other microbe, for example. So for the TRCI, TRCI is, is known for the production of uh, cellulitic enzymes, but the presence of uh, like a, um, a, a mini like a sugar and, and the, the soluble sugar in, in the media cause a feedback inhibition. That's why you see that there's no a good like result when they are together because if there's a lot of sugar, for example, it's because of feedback inhibition for this microbe, there was, a, 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 Thus, the, the, the fermentation is not like when there's just two microorganisms. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, I like to ask a question. So I'm Doug Hayes. Thank you, Ramad, first of all, for giving the presentation and very good, very good work, very interesting. Just a short question. Have you looked at any process economics and, or is that something that you're gonna be looking at later on in your uh, dissertation work? Yep, that's a great question. We haven't looked at, at that yet, but I mean, what we are using is not that, uh, I mean, costly. And I think it, in the future, we have to look at that when we want to scale up and see how much that could be cost and what is the process cost. Yeah, but currently we haven't, we haven't done that yet. Yeah, that is a, that is a, actually it's a more difficult question than anybody ever tells you about when you're, when you're in graduate school. Uh, you have to get engineers involved and uh, generally one of the interesting things to think about is you, you really want to adapt some other process that's already been costed out so people know what it's going to cost. And uh, that would be very I'm, I'm, I'm a very big believer in canola meal utilization. So this is exciting. We have an opportunity for uh, new and 
enriched products this way. One question I was wondering about was how did you select your co-culture strains? Obviously there are millions to choose from. Um, yeah, all the, the fungi that we have are generally recognized as uh, fungi. And we have a mini collection and we would choose these microorganisms based on the, the enzymatic ability, uh, based on the previous studies to see if, if and also we did a pie, uh, adult culture to test any antagonistic behavior among these microorganisms before we use them. And we found that they grow together without any, any antagonistic behavior. And we saw that their ability in, redu in producing uh, a cocktail of enzymes, that's why they were selected based on that. Yeah. Excellent, thank you. Well, I don't see any other questions unless uh, any of the other judges have a question. Uh, thank you very much, Ahmad, for a very interesting talk and I wish you great success in your future. Thank you very and, much. And uh, I'm sure you'll tangle with many interesting problems. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.